Alright, who am I getting a weapon from today? It's not Kenny Tim, I think. I don't think I'm, I talked to him again until I get the flaming crossbow. Um, the flaming crossbow. <laughs> there are so many jokes I could make about that. That's a position, isn't it? What? I is it a position? or n No, it's just flaming. Anyway, welcome back to the Super Bonus Round. I'm going to talk to... I think this is... I don't remember. Some of the other chaps waited Zarok would be using your ribcage as a tote rack for now. <laughs> Aw, he believes in you. What the fuck is it first? <laughs> <laughs> it's money. Of course that will help me. I can replenish, you know, ammo. And later charge a magic sword. All right, I think we're going to the Enchanted Forest, and which you add, like, what's interesting about the Enchanted Forest is you actually can't really complete it, because uh, there are no enemies to kill in there, and like you, you can you can't access the uh, actual path yet. So normally, what I like to go, oh, the, you know what? That's the other thing I forgot. The Enchanted Earth actually has two levels in it. So I think, um. Scarecrow Fields. You know what? If you got any other stories to tell, like a long one, this would be a good time because the uh, the Ant Caves, which is a level you can access if you get the Witch Talisman from the uh, the uh, the hilltop uh, level, you can access the Ant Caves, and that level takes for friggin' ever. So oh. you got if you got any stories, now's a great time. Yeah, this cutscene plays, and you can't even fight these things yet. You have to release them from their. Uh, the realm that they're banished from, which you d and you need an artifact to do that, but you can't get that until like later. The enchanted earth, oh, cute little frog thing. Fuck those things. You can kill them, but they don't give you any chalice. Yeah, so like you can't complete this level yet because there's like no enemies outside these frogs. Do those plants have lips? I think so. Let me, let me look. Yep. There used to be a coven of witches in the caves beneath the cemetery hill. The whole forest never smelt the same since. Ew. <laughs> I love the humor in this game. Alright, so time for the ant cave. This is this is uh, this is uh, needed for the hundred percent completion. Stop stirring and I'll tell you. Fuck you too. <laughs> Dan is my favorite character ever. I don't want to, but I'll, do, I'll just, I'll do it. Sorry, didn't I mention I'd have to shrink you to the size of an insect? No, you didn't! <sighs> oh, his voice even got higher. <laughs> That's a nice touch. Yep, so I'm gonna kill, killing some ants. Do they fill up your chalice? Uh... Well, that, no, they don't. But like, when you, if you complete this level, you get free passes to the Hall of Heroes, and to 100% complete the game, you have to get all the weapons and this, and all the chalices. Run, little man! If the master found it now, he would crush it like a bag. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick! Hark! We can hear the soldier ants approaching. Onward and meet your tiny nemesis. Why is there a gargoyle down here? Because he's a dick and wants to laugh at me at, at every turn of my quest. Oh, and here's where I find a fairy. Sweet. Thank you for releasing me, sir. Light 
<laughs> I'll bet you were expecting a graceful fairy. What is it? It's it's a naked baby looking thing with a uh, with a thick Cockney accent. Why is Wise Mankey always signing off whenever I'm recording? He did this with the crash session. And the siphon filter session. Oh my god, they are hideous. Yeah, they're even worse in the remake. But at least Dan slaps one. Is this voice getting on your nerves yet, governor? Uh, if not, I hope, because you're going to be hearing a little bit more. No, you're not only going to hear that voice like one more time. So yeah, it's just like a lot of running around in the dark. So for me to go to the uh, Hall of Heroes, I have to find all the fairies that are trapped in like little coves. So I remember... I remember back in the episode where we were at the, uh, the, uh, the, the hilltop graveyard, you had dating stories. And I kind of cut you off. So, if you have those you want to tell, you, you're open to it. We're going to be here a while. Dating stories, huh? You, 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 you said I, uh, in the episode, and I quote, You should always regale you with my tales of the dating world. Um, well, okay, if you really want to hear it. All right, so it, it, it'll it'll kill the time here. Trust me, we're gonna we're gonna be in this cave for a little while. Okay, so uh, you know, only, only tell what you're comfortable with too. I'm not I won't make you do anything you you don't want to. I could tell you about the one time this guy stalked me on my college campus. Um, have you told me that one yet? No. Okay, then that that that, that that's better. Better okay. I hear one I've, ne I've never heard before. So, um, when I was a junior in college, um, I had this guy that I was talking to. And, you know, it was, he seemed pretty cool and all of that. Um, then he started getting really, you know, like, really clingy and really, like, um, you know, really, like, smothering and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, he wanted to know where I was all the time and all of that. Ooh. And who I was talking to. Ooh. Um, so, anyways, he started, like, coming onto the college campus and... Was he a student there? No. Oh, he that's was the worst. He was not a student. Um, he was, like... I, I was, like, 21. He was, he was like, 22. So this was a couple years ago. Yeah. Um, he... Because you're 28 now, right? Yeah. I'm 26. Uh, he, you know... Um, one day I was I was walking with my friend and we were, we were going to the dining hall for dinner. And, like, he was texting me saying, Oh, you know, what are you up to? And I said, Oh, you know, I'm just going to get food. Um, well, he actually lived, like, not that far away from the campus. So I, you know, was walking with my friend and then he just kind of appears out of nowhere on near the dining hall, like, and then I get a phone call and it's him. Mm. And, you know, he's, and he's telling me, oh, you know, where are you? And I'm just like, I'm right outside the dining hall. He's like, okay, turn around. Oh! Yeah. And, oh, God! Yeah. So it was me and my one friend and she and I are just like, oh, crap. So, you know, he's, he like, He's like, oh, come on, I'll take you guys to dinner. And we were like, oh, well, we were just about to go eat here and we were going to go back and study. Um, so, you know, he that kind of sparked an argument with him and I. And he, he started, like, telling me, oh, well, you don't appreciate me and all of that. I don't appreciate you following me around. Um, yeah, what ultimately happened to him was uh, it really got, like... It got to the point where it was, he was like calling me in the middle of the night. Um, yeah, I remember I was, um, I was 
trying to do this project for class. I was doing a script writing class. And I was I was up pretty late trying to do it and he kept like texting me and calling me and all of that like he must have did it like at least 15 times. Hmm. And I finally like snap on him. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm trying to do this project that's due like tomorrow. I'm like, I'm and he's like, oh, I'll come over and help you that. I'm like, no, I don't want you to come over. I'm just trying to do this. Mm. Um, so ultimately what happened was uh, he came on campus one time and was harassing me. So I got one of my friends who was on the football team to like walk me between classes. Mm. So he actually showed up and like started harassing me after we broke up, you know, while uh, so you, my so you broke up me. between that time. Yeah, we we broke up. Like I just told him, like I can't deal with this anymore. Yeah, because that, that that piece was missing from the story. Um, I didn't quite get that. And then he Shouldn't tried to that. start a fight with my one friend. Like he tr he like tried to like actually hit my one friend, and like it just Ooh. it just kind of spiraled downward from there. Bad news. That that dude just sounds like bad news. And, yeah, um, like. Like, did the did your football friend like beat him up or um so do so do him I should say he well I mean they um he tried to hit my friend he like got my friend in the chest and my friend just kind of like pushed him away and and you know there was a lot of yelling and like there were witnesses so like he just Ooh, like kind go. of left um ultimately like I I almost went to the police to get a restraining order because like he kept like contacting me even though I was pretty clear that I didn't want to contact any further. Yeah, that was that was crazy. I hope I didn't open up some wounds. No, I no. I I really don't give a shit about it anymore, to be perfectly honest. Did you just did you just like stop hearing from this guy after a while? Um I remember a year later he sent me a message saying that he found my number again and that he wanted to talk to me and I just told him, look dude, I'm I'm sorry. I'm not gonna. I I can't. Cause I was at the at the time I, like, I was in a relationship with someone else. So I would have been like, you got a lot of balls, buddy. Um, After what you pulled a year ago, man. Yeah. I mean, he was telling me that he was like going through a really hard time and all that, and I'm just like, look. And I, I found Jesus. <laughs> that's I, you, that's usually how it goes. Um. No, he 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 told me, you know, I really did love you. I'm like, I. Well, it's too late for that. I I was. Um, yeah, it was just, it was just a mess. Well, I'm sorry that that happened to you. Well. Wish I could relate. I've been with the same girl for 12 years. Um, it's not a big deal. I mean, honestly, like, there's... There's a vial down there, but where's the... I think I'm missing at least two fairies. I have enough amber to go, go help the witch, but I need the other fairies. Come find us, you bony motherfucker! There, you, there, there's one. What do they say when you release them? I actually don't know. And they might be like saying like "sweet" or something, but that's that doesn't that doesn't sound like something that would be in British slang. But the game's so ancient, I really can't think of uh, what they could possibly be saying. I don't know any people from England, so I don't really know British slang. Yeah, I don't know if they. If, I know. I don't I, know if "sweet" in, our, in like in the slang interpretation is in their lexicon. I know. I know some Irish slang because I dated a guy from Ireland. My favorite story is honestly the one where he goes into the into a store and asks for a pack of bags, and the owner got all pissed off at him. Why did he get pissed off at him? Um. Because he thought, because the, the the person wasn't aware that fags is a is a European. Oh, yeah. It's, I knew that disconnect would happen at some point. Yeah, like uh, it was kind of funny. But it's funny because in, in oh, Lady, like, can I buy a couple of fags? In in you know, can I buy a couple of fags off you. In in um, in you know, British, um, Irish, you know, stuff like that. It, like fag isn't a term for it's a, it's a term for a cigarette. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not a it's not a derogatory term for a homosexual. But like, um, what is is like poofter, and that's also that's also in um Australian. Uh, like poofter is like the is the derogatory word. Poofter. Poofter. Yes. Or poof. 
I, I thought it was really funny when I found out that. I wonder if they had to change the name of that baby from Fairly Odd Parents in the British airings. I don't know. Um, I don't know, but because I know like they had to re they had to. Uh, I know one of the Mario Party games got like recalled because they said the word spaz in it, and spaz is like 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 a derogatory term for a mentally disabled person. Yeah, sounds about right. Um, I don't know how many fairies I have. You need one more. Okay, thank you. I I never remember. Yeah, I told you this was gonna be a while if you got any more. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Yes. Yeah, I wish these ants counted through the chalice, but they don't. Are the ants screaming as you kill them? Yeah. Yep. They're actually screaming. That's... I don't know how to feel about that. They're working for a possessed queen. I don't feel bad. Well, and then again, I'm invading their home. I mean, you're you're the asshole here. You're you're invading their home. Cat. Hey, I didn't ask to be woken from the dead. I wanted to sleep for eternity, but no. Well, a flamboyant I mean... uh, vizier uh, warlock had to wake me uh, from my slumber because apparently he wants to rule the, the the world. Well, then why did he revive you? What were you going to do? I think he just kind of like did a generic raise the dead spell. He didn't like throw in a condition not to wake up a certain somebody. But you know what? He probably didn't think of that. I, th I think he would be a problem because he killed him uh, pretty easily. When he was alive, yeah. yeah. That's what I think is interesting with that story. Like, the more you try to wrap around, like, the holes, I'm like, well, he was pathetic, so I don't think Xerox saw, saw much of an issue with it. And this, this is, like, his chance to redeem himself and make him out to be the hero that everyone thinks he is. All right, I'm good. Yeah, this I I wanted to avoid this because if you go down go down here, there's no from that. Yep, we're uh, in the ant's den now, the ant queen. God, I remember ants being described in Animorphs as like they basically are these they're basically just hive mind creatures. Yeah, like look at that. That's not that's not a, that's not a normal ant. That's demonic. Okay, so I got a uh, stained glass demon. It. Looks more like a spider, doesn't it? Yeah. So basically, the same deal as the stained glass demon. Thankfully, not all the bosses are like that, but. Kind of reminds me of a silithid from World of Warcraft. Bug things. Hmm. Just a whole race of like. I am running out of shield. Creepy bugs. All right, well past the half point. I could rock this game in a couple hours. She is. She is not going down without a fight. No. Why does she have so much health? Uh, I don't know. Like, the, the bosses get more health as they go. Come on! I can do it! I can do it! I can do it! I can do it! No. The next one will do it. So yeah, your story is perfectly killed time. It was all I needed to uh, find the Amber and the uh, fairies. I hope my story of my stalker. <laughs> I hope he doesn't find that, find these episodes. Oh, please. I'm not afraid of him. He doesn't know actually where I live. Well, that's good. All right, so I got all the Amber, of course. And I got all the fairies. OK. No, well, we went a little long, but the ant I, I didn't preface that the ant caves does take a little while. <laughs> Make this monster grow! More like the destroyer of the ants. 
Conqueror. That, that scream as you kill them. Yeah, it's pretty horrifying. It makes you feel pretty bad. But I've beaten this game 15 times, so I'm numb to it now. The funniest weapon in the game. What? Yes, it's a chicken drumstick. If you throw it at an enemy, they turn into roast chicken, and you can use them as health. The caveat is that there you is that there's only a little bit of ammo of it, and if you run out, you can never refill. Huh? So if you, you only you want to use it in a pinch, which, considering how many enemies are in this game. You don't run into pinches very often. The only time you'll ever run into... only time I ever run into a pinch is in the last boss fight, because, like... Jesus, does that take a lot of ammo, but... Alright, well, next time on the Super Bonus Round, I'm gonna go to the Scarecrow Fields. Like, see, you only get 30. And you never... you can never refill. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye! Bye!